<clears throat> Shalom, 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 Israel, right? Shalom, Inshallah, giving all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Mahashiach Yahweh Shah, right? It's all praises, honor, and glory unto the Most High, whose name is Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorant, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and He is the Savior of the nation of Israel, right? Coming back to y'all with another video, right? Shalom, shalom to all the brothers and sisters out there, right? In this truth, um, laboring for this kingdom, patiently waiting for the second coming of Mahashiach Yahweh Shah, and, and, and signing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst of Babylon the Great, which is America, right? So we're going to be going into uh, Baruch, the second chapter, right? It's a powerful chapter. Um, and we, you know, we're going to break it down through the spirit, right? We're going to read it. Uh, let's go to uh, Baruch chapter 2 and verse 1. And it reads, Therefore the Lord hath made good his word, which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judged Israel and against our kings and against our princes and against the men of Israel and Judah to bring upon us great plagues such as never happened under the whole heaven as it came to pass in Jerusalem um it's like, yeah I'm outside right I'm outside uh and it reads as it came to pass in Jerusalem According to the things that were written in the law of Moses, right? What, what was written in the law of Moses? This is referring to the curses in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, all right? If you didn't know about the curses, all right, the curses help identify who the real Israelites are today, all right? Because the curses are still in full effect, all right? It's not until, um, it's not until uh, Revelation chapter 21, I believe, or 22, is when the curses will be lifted up, uh, 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 out of Israel, okay? Because you have many people saying that the curses, you know, they're not still in effect, or God didn't curse the Israelites, right? Well, that's that's not true, okay? Because the curses are still upon the uh, nation of Israel today, all right? Because they're a very stiff-necked and sinful nation, okay? <clears throat> so it came to pass, right? Uh, and... Uh, verse 3 and it says that a man should eat the flesh of his own son and the flesh of his own daughter let's go to that real quick right let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse uh, I believe 55 and it reads and it reads uh, so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat okay so basically in 70 AD and also in Jerusalem before that right we were eating and uh, we were eating our sons and daughters because of uh, uh, of the great famine okay that was set upon us right so we're eating each other right that's the Lord that's that's one of the curses right we're, that we would eat our each other each other right it says because you have nothing left in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress uh, in all thy gates, right? Let's go Baruch 2 and 4, right? And it says, Moreover, he hath delivered them to be in subjection to all the kingdoms that are round about us. Right? We're made sub uh, subject to all the kingdoms that are round about us, right? Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse um, 44, I believe. 43 and it says the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high and thou shalt come down very low so the lord said that because we broke uh because if we don't want to listen to the most high if we break god's commandments we're going to become very low and the stranger in this context is the goyim talking about the heathen right the actual heathen so that the heathen will be very very high above us and that we'll become um, to our lowest state, right? So basically, this happened to us and is still in full effect today, right? And it says, and, and we're in subjection to these heathen, right? That are round about us, right? Hey, we don't have our own economic systems. We don't have our own anything, right? We can't go back to our land 
right? We're subject to these uh, uh, heathen that are above us because we broke God's laws, statutes, and commandments. It says, to uh, be, a, be as a reproach and desolation again among all the people round about where the Lord hath scattered them. That thus we were cast down and not exalted there because we have sinned against the Lord our God and have not been obedient unto his voice, right? We were obedient unto the Lord, all right? Because in Deuteronomy 28, 15, it says that if we don't hearken unto the Lord, if we don't keep his commandments, we're going to be a cursed nation. Verse 6, to the Lord our God appertaineth righteousness, but unto us and to our fathers open shame and appeareth this day. Right? To our fathers, a uh, shame. Right? Because we have become a shameful nation. Right? At first, we were the uh, blessed and exalted, all right, nation. Right? The holy Jerusalem, right? The holy people, right? And these nations knew that our God was real, right? Read, read about that in the book of uh, Judas, you know? Verse 7, and it says, For all these plagues are come upon us, which the Lord hath pronounced against us. Right, the plagues, the curses. Uh, yet have we not prayed before the Lord, that we might turn every one from the imaginations of his wicked heart. Right? We have not prayed unto the Lord. Right? Our people, they don't pray to the Lord. Right? They don't even know the uh, real Lord's name. Right? The name of the Lord is not Jesus. Right? His son's name is Yahweh Shah, like I mentioned. Right? And his father's name is Yahweh. Right? It's not Jehovah. Right? And it says, uh, Wherefore the Lord watched over us for evil, and the Lord had brought it upon us. For, for the Lord is righteous in all his works which he had commanded us. All right, so the Lord is righteous in all his works. Okay. Yet we have not hearkened unto his voice to walk in the commandments of the Lord that he hath set before us. And now, O Lord God of Israel, that has brought thy people out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand and high arm and with signs and with wonders and with great power and has gotten thyself a name as appeareth this day. Right? Because Yahweh was known because of his works. Right? When he brought us out of the land of Egypt, then his name was exalted. Then we knew who Yahweh was. Right? Read about that in Exodus. Right? The early chapters of Exodus. Right? Um, we knew him, we knew Yahweh because he brought us out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, right? Did he not send ten plagues unto the Egyptians, the Hamites? Did he not destroy Egypt, all right? Read about that, all right? I encourage, I encourage brothers and sisters to read about that, all right? Uh, it says, O Lord our God, we have sinned, we have done ungodly, we have dealt unrighteously, Unrighteously in all thine ordinances, let thy wrath turn from us. We, but for we are but a few among the heathen, where thou hast scattered us. Right, because right now, what is uh, Baruch doing? Baruch is repenting. All right, repenting is turning is is uh, asking mercy for your sins and turning away from them. Right. Um. Uh. Read about. Like uh, Psalms, right? Psalm chapter 35 or 25. Okay, I think it's uh, 25. Right, so it says Psalms 25 is not what this is not what I want, but I'll read it, right? Psalms 25 and 7, right? This is King David repented, right? And it says, Remember not the sins of my youth. Nor my transgressions, according to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake. All right. Oh, Lord. All right. So basically what David is doing is repenting. All right. He's asking mercy for his sins. All right. Begging for mercy. All right. And we're under the grace spirit. So we're allowed to do that. All right. Uh, Baruch 2. And. Uh, right. Verse 14. And it reads. Um, hear our prayers, O Lord, in our petitions, and deliver us from for thine own sake, and give us favor in the sight of them which have led us away. 
that all the earth may know that thou art the Lord our God, because Israel and his posterity is called by thy name. Right, we're called by the Mosai's name, all right? We're the ones that's called by the Mosai's name, all right? O Lord, look down from thine holy house and consider us. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, to hear us. Right, you want the Lord to answer your prayer, all right? That's what you want the Lord to do. You want the Lord to answer your prayer, right, and hear you when you pray, all right? Nobody wants to pray to the Lord, all right, and not get his prayers answered, not get him heard. I, I mean, heard, right? If you want to, if you if you're going to pray to the Lord, you want your prayers to be answered and heard, right? Otherwise, what's the use of uh, or uh, of a praying, right? That's all just for vanity. So you want to say to the Lord, you know, uh, uh, consider us, right? Bow down thine ear, meaning listen to us, right? Verse seventeen. Uh, open thine eyes and behold for the dead that are in the graves whose souls are taken from their bodies will give unto the Lord neither praise nor righteousness right because you can't praise the Lord in the grave like it says in uh, Ecclesiastes right but the soul that is greatly vexed which goeth stooping and feeble and the eyes that fail and the hungry, hungry soul <laughs> will give thee praise and righteousness O Lord Right, the poor man, right? Because look, uh, uh, essentially, spiritually, right? The poor man is known as Israel. Okay, Israel is a poor man. Israel is a poor nation, right? According to uh, Isaiah 60, 61, right? But also on another level, right? A poor man's uh, prayers shall be answered, like it says in the book of Proverbs, I believe, right? Verse 19. Therefore, we do not make our supplic humble supplication before thee, O Lord our God, for the righteousness of our fathers and of our kings. For thou hast set out thy wrath and indignation upon us, as thou hast spoken by thy servants the prophets, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Bow down your, so your soldiers to serve the king of Babylon, so shall ye remain in the land that I gave unto your fathers. But if you will not hear the voice of the Lord to serve the king of Babylon, I will cause the, I will cause the seas out of the cities of Judah, and from and, and from without, without Jerusalem, the voice of myrrh, and the voice of joy, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, and the whole land shall be desolate of inhabitants. So basically, um, Baruch lived during the time of Jer the prophet Jeremiah. Okay, so some of the stuff that Baruch says in his book is he's quoting Jeremiah, right? Um, you you can read about um, Baruch. In the book of Jeremiah also. Okay. Because Baruch was a companion of Jeremiah the prophet. Okay. Two mighty prophets. And I believe uh, Baruch was a scribe. Okay. So basically we didn't. So basically there was a prophet. I mean uh, um, a prophecy given Jeremiah. Right. That if we would serve the king of Babylon. And surrender unto him. Things would basically be be well with us right but if we didn't do that right then we would be carried away into babylon and so zedekiah i believe right zedekiah um he he didn't listen to jeremiah and so that's why he got carried away into babylon all right if if i'm not um correct then you know it's Lachia, but i believe it was king zedekiah of judah Right, Hezekiah or Zedekiah, right? Verse 24. But we would not hearken unto thy voice to serve the king of Babylon. Therefore hast thou made good the word, words that thou spakest by thy servants the prophets, namely, that the bones of our kings and the bones of our fathers should be taken out of their place. And lo, they are cast out to the heat of the day and to the frost of the night. And they did, and they died in great miseries by famine, by sword, and by pestilence, right? Because we have died, right, by, by the frost, right? We have died by the great miseries of famine, right, by the sword and by the pestilence. This didn't happen to us just in slavery. This happened to us uh, 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 for thousands of years, thousands of years, right, because of the curses, the plagues. 
and the house which is called by thy name hast thou laid waste, as it is seen to be seen this day, for the wickedness of the house of Israel and the house of Judah. O Lord our God, thou hast d dwelt with us after all thy goodness, and according to all that thy all that uh, to all that great mercy of thine, as thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, whither I, I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me. Right? That's heavy. Because Yahweh, you know, um, basically has everything planned out, right? And he knew that we wouldn't listen to him. Right? He knew that. Right? That's called something called predestination. On the other level, right? It's like a father, you know? A father telling his children, you know, hey, don't do that. Right? Don't touch those cookies. Right? You know? Or do this and don't do that. Right? But the father, you know, he kind of knows, right? That the child, his child is going to want to do that and he does it. Right? So the father, right, he still punishes his child to do that. But he may punish him so that he won't do that again. But we did it. We, we kept doing it. Right? And it says, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. Right? We're stiff-necked. We're hard-headed. We don't listen. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Right? This is our, the land of our captivity. Okay? Babylon the Great. Wherever else we were scattered. Right? We have Israelites in every nation. That's the land of their captivity. And in the land of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves. We shall remember who we are. Right? Hey, when has the so-called Jewish man, right? Because that's a cut. All right? That's a cut to these damn Amal uh, 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 Amalekites. These damn Jewish people. All right? Damn devils. Right? Because, look, when have they ever lost their nationality? When have they ever stripped? Uh, when have they ever lost who they are? Okay, lost their whole damn heritage, lost their whole damn language, okay, was forced to speak another language, right? And so that they, they, they forgot their own heritage, right? Um, and, and stripped away their uh, uh, their names, right? Stripped away all their damn willpower and and and, and all of that, right? Relegated them to the role of cattle and chattel and animals. Right? When has that ever happened to the Jewish people? And then they remembered who they are. Because the Lord slept with them and put that Holy Spirit down on them. When has that ever happened to the Jewish people? Never. Can't find it. Can't find the history. Right? Because it's not there. Right? Because this, this happened to us. Right? Verse 31. And shall know that I am the Lord their God. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. Right? The Lord is going to gave us a heart and ears to hear, right? Ears to hear meaning what? Ears to um, comprehend this truth, okay? And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity, right? We're going to praise the Lord in the land of our captivity, right? In the book of Sirach, it says, uh, and the saints shall uh, praise thy holy name, right? And think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. Right, we return from our, our stiff neck and our wicked deeds. What does that mean? That means that we repent from them, uh, our wicked deeds and we turn back from them, right? We stop doing what we were doing in the world and we turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh We come back to our true nationality, right? We come back to our refuge. We come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? And it says, For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. Right? We're, we're going to remember the old way. Right? Let's get that. I believe it's Jeremiah, but I'm going to just stop it up uh sake of time. Right? This is uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16, right? And it reads... Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way, and walk therein? And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Right, so the Lord is saying, look, look for the old paths. Hey, everything else is not working, right? Christianity is not working. Catholicism is not working, 
right? Islam is not working, right? All these other religious philosophies and ways of life and, and all that is not working, right? Marching in the streets is not working. Been marching for too long, right? We got to ask for the older paths, right? Before Islam, before Christianity, before all that, right? What was before all that, right? Hey, Egypt, uh, uh, them uh, um, uh, Kemetic stuff is not, it's not doing anything, right? We got to ask for the old paths, right? And, and what was the old paths? Because Jacob is the former of all things, right? What is the old path? It's the law, statutes, and commandments, right? It's this, this straight and narrow path, right? That's that way. That's the way. Uh, hey, the good way is Yahweh Shah, right? Did he, did he not say that he is the way, the truth, and the life? No man cometh by the Father but by me, right? And you shall find rest for your souls because in this captivity, we're not finding any rest, Right? We don't have rest in this kingdom. We're going to have rest in the kingdom to come. All right? Baha Shema Masha So let's go back to, uh, sorry, right? I mean, uh, Baruch. Baruch chapter 2 and verse 33. And return from the stiff neck and from the wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sin before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. So we're going to be put back in our land, like it says in Isaiah 14 and 1 through 2, right? We're going to be put back in our land, okay? We're going to, we're going to be put back in our land, right? And it says uh, that the Lord is going to increase us, right? And they shall not be diminished. Also proving that um, we're going to have kids in the kingdom, okay? You have some people that saying that we're not going to have kids in the kingdom we're going to be at like robots like angels look we're going to have kings in the kingdom i mean uh, kids in the kingdom all right it literally says that we're going to be increased and not be diminished right verse 35 and i'll make an everlasting covenant with them to be their god so what's that everlasting covenant that's the new covenant all right the new covenant if you didn't know belongs to the house of israel and to the house of judah okay this is uh, Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 8. And it reads, For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So the Lord is going to make a new covenant.